Okay, so what should this design look like? Well, first we're going to need a couple different images that are, first we're going to need a couple required files that I give you, and then we can actually start designing. So here's what the example app will look like. You can see on the right side right here, you're going to need some of these images that I'm going to give you. Let's actually open up this image in a new tab and we'll just keep it right there. And if at the very top, you can see here, these are the files that we're going to need. So let's go ahead and download each one of these. Okay, now that we've downloaded all those files, let's focus in on this. And I'm gonna make this one bigger. So the top you see, I have a horizontal arrangement. I have a button. There's some space in between here. And then I'm going to have a button. This looks like a button, but it's actually a image picker. Here's another button. I'm gonna have a label, have a image or a button. And then I have a bunch of buttons. These look like pictures, but they're actually just buttons. I have a button, a label, a button, a label. I have a slider, which is a new image, and I have, which is a slider, which is a new component, and I also have a canvas, which is also a new component we're going to learn. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's, let's go from top down. So I'm going to do this at the very top, and actually I can pull this out. And let's just put it here for now. You know, I'm going to need that. So again, these can be buttons or images. I'm just going to do images. So this is going to be IMG home. And I already have a home icon, so I'm simply going to select it. Obviously, it's way too big. So let's make it let's make it 50 pixels by 50 pixels. It's also scale to fit and make sure that you select clickable. Now I have this home icon. You could have used this one that I have provided for you to download. Then I'm going to go ahead and drag in another image. Again, I'm going to do IMG camera. And for this one, again, make sure you make it clickable. Again, I'm going to make the width and height 50 pixels. And then the picture, I need to upload that. And you can see here is my camera. I have, now this looks like an image, but it's actually not. This is a photo gallery. This is an image picker. The difference, when we go to media, you can see an image picker here. It's like a button that automatically launches your photo gallery 
and then after you pick something, it has that selection. So we're going to use this. Again, it looks like a button or an image, but it is actually, it's just a, yes, sir. What do you need? Nothing. So here we're going to make this height 50, 50 pixels by 50 pixels. And again, for the image, I'm going to upload the button photo gallery that I provided you. And lastly, I have another image. So I'm going to go back to user interface on the left side, drag in an image. Again, I'm going to draw IMG, reset. Make sure that you make it clickable. That way we can perform an action when someone touches it. Make the height and the width 50 pixels. And again, I'm going to upload the media file right here, reset button that I just saved. Now, we want these to be on the right side. And again, you can see this is not doing that. Why is it just going down? Well, remember in App Inventor, you have to in App Inventor, you have to add in all the components to make it look like you want. So if I click on layout, I want it to be a horizontal arrangement. What do you need, sir? Do you know where my headphones are? Your what? My headphones. Yes, I do. It's not there, sorry. They're right here. I'm trying to go plug them in up in the front. There you go. What do you need them for? The plug in here. What did mom say? She said watch TV or she said come on the computer? Okay, they're not lost. All right, so to make these, yeah, you can go out there and play with it. The dark fighter helmet is right here. Okay. The helmet. Need this piece and this piece together. All right. All right. So now let's horizontally align these. You see, I'm in layout. Let's drag in a horizontal arrangement. Again, I'm going to drag all these buttons into here. I'm going to make the horizontal arrangement. I want to go look all the way across the screen. So I'm going to select with select fill parent. Now remember the components, anything you drag in is in a hierarchy. So you have parent and children. These three images, these three images and the one image picker is inside of this horizontal arrangement. So that's their parent. So when I say, so that's this parent. Now this horizontal arrangement is inside of the animal draw screen. So this is the horizontal arrangements parent. So when I say horizontal arrangement, fill parent, that means go all the way across the animal draw screen. Now, this is almost looking right, but you can see I have like a space in between here. Well, what can I do to add that space? Again, our little simple trick, we're going to drag in a label in between there. I'm going to rename it LBL spacer one. I'm going to get rid of the text and then I'm going to select fill parent to take up the remaining space inside of here. And you can see that gives the space to make that work. So we are done with that top, but let's fix a couple things. At the very top, you see it says Jamie Gantz Animal Park draw animals. 
right now it just says animal draw. So I'm gonna go back to my animal draw. Again, we're gonna type in your name. Don't put my name, put your name. Jamie Gantz, animal park, draw animals. There we go. We also want our background. So here under background image, I'm going to select my tree of life background. No, it's just a, a app I'm making for my people where they can draw. Oh, so you can wait. Your tree in background of as a tree from yeah, the park. Yeah, correct. Oh, so it's not about Disney, no. So from this, are that, you making a video? I am making a video. But then all the things that, that I'm seeing and you're saying to me. I'm going to be in this video. Yeah, I'm going to have to record it out. I'll, I can take it out of the video when I record it, when I edit it. So in this part right here, you can see it looks gray. It doesn't over here. If that's bothering you, just select background color for your horizontal arrangement and select none. And there you go. So now, what do we have next? We have a label that goes all the way across the screen. It says draw your animal masterpiece. So here's a label, I'm just gonna drag it in here. Let's rename it, LBL user info. I'm gonna keep it the same. You can make it whatever color you want. I'm doing yellow. I'm gonna type draw your animal masterpiece. And I'm gonna keep it the same. So I'm gonna do bold. I'm going to do red. Now again, I want it to go all the way across the screen. So this, I want it to, I can do it two ways. Again, I could do fill parent, but I also could do 100%. And that goes all the way across the screen. But I normally just do fill parent. So now I want that centered. I'm simply right here, text alignment. I'm going to select center. So now we have that. The next part looks a little bit tricky. It is all of our colors. You're gonna have 10 colors that you're going to allow users to pick from and an eraser. So that is where we're going to use a horizontal scroll arrangement. We've used horizontal arrangements before, but now we're going to use a horizontal scroll arrangement. That way you can scroll back and forth between the colors that don't fit on the screen. So let's go to layout. Right here, you see horizontal scroll arrangement. I'm gonna drag that in. I'm gonna select the height of 50 pixels to kind of match up there. I'm also going to do a width of fail parent. Now this one kind of has a background, so I'm going to make it, let's just say dark gray. So in here I have an image and a bunch of buttons that look like little paint dots. So let's go back to user interface. I'm going to drag in an image. I'm going to rename that image IMG eraser. I'm going to make the height fill parent, which the parent is this horizontal arrangement. So it's going to be 50 pretty much. I'm going to make the width 50 pixels. And then I'm going to upload the eraser button that we downloaded. And there you go. Now, make sure you select clickable. If you don't, when we go to code, this image would not work. And I'll scale the picture as well. All right, so now we have 10 buttons that we're going to do for our colors. So let's look at that. So I'm going to drag in one button. What? And I'm going to, first step, I'm going to get rid of the text. Next step, I'm going to make the height fill parent. I'm going to make the width 50 pixels. 
I'm gonna make I'm gonna make the background whatever color I want. So I'm selecting background, let's just say red. And then I'm going to click on shape and select oval. And there you go. And then we're pretty much gonna duplicate that a bunch of times. So you have to make nine buttons. And actually, since I made it red, let's rename this button BTN red. So we're gonna duplicate, we're gonna repeat those processes nine more times to pick whatever colors you want. So I'm gonna do it two more times. I'm gonna show you one more time on how to just choose one of these colors. And then I'm also gonna show you how to make a custom color. So I'm gonna drag in a button. I'm gonna to go to background color. I'm gonna check another color. So let's say I wanted orange. I'm going to delete the text. I'm gonna rename it BTN orange. I'm gonna make the height fill parent. I'm gonna make the width 50 pixels. I'm gonna make the shape an oval. And there you go. So, what, what do you do if you wanted a custom color? So let's try that. Let's drag in a button. Let's say I wanted BTN peach. If I come here, there is no peach. So I can select custom. And you can see it looks like everything's black, but if you drag this up, it lightens everything up and you can select it here. Or you can actually type in the actual hef hexadecimal color combination. Now we'll learn about binary and hexadecimal in the next unit data, um, but I'm just gonna quickly show you so let's go to colorpicker.com. And this is a just a site where you can pick whatever color you want. And it gives you, so if I want it, peach is somewhere like that. Maybe a little bit down. So here, let's say I wanted that color. You can see right here is the hexadecimal color. So I can simply copy this, come back to App Inventor and paste it. And it gives me that exact color and select done. So now I'm just going to get rid of that. I'm going to make my height fill parent. I'm gonna make my width 50 pixels and I'm going to make my shape oval. So there's my peach color. So now pause the video and go complete making the remaining seven buttons with whatever colors that you want. I see. Is it
I made it up here. That's starting to look. Over, but the fact that it's missing, I see that it looks like Zane's making an ice ball. So now you should have your 10 colors. I have white, black, gray, blue, red, orange, peach, yellow, green. I'm going to do one more time. I'm going to show you how to do a custom color just in case. So I'm going to come back over here. And I'm going to do here, custom color. I'll drag this all the way up. And let's say I wanted a purple, like a lavender. That kind of looks like that. So I'm going to copy this, come back over here and paste it. And that gives me that. So I'm going to re rename it BTN. Lavender. Again, height, fill parent, width, 50 pixels, shape is oval, and delete my text. So now I have all 10 of my things. Now again, you can't see all of them here, but if you come over here, you can actually scroll. See? That's why you're using a horizontal scroll arrangement. That way you can see and access all of our colors. And I want my lavender probably closer to my this, and I'm just re, re, reshaping some stuff. All right, so next thing we need inside of here um, is when we actually try to draw, we have dots and line sizes. I'm gonna need another horizontal arrangement. So when we click on layout, drag in a horizontal arrangement. I'm going to make the width feel parent. You can see here, if I zoom in some, you can see it is a black background. So I'm gonna select black. And then inside of here, I have a the image that I've given you, a label, an image that I've given you, a label, and then a slider. So, come back up to here. I'm going to drag in an image, a label, an image, a label, and then right here is a new component we're using called a slider. And this, so for the image, this is, make sure you make it clickable make the height fill parent. I'm going to make the width 25 pixels. I'm going to upload the plus button. There you go. This is a label and make sure I, I rename this IMG dot size plus. This is my next label. You see it's gonna say dot size. So I'm gonna L it LBL dot size. Background color I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna make the font size a little bit smaller. Let's make it 12. I'm going to make the text say dot size and our default is going to be five, and then I'm just going to update the color to yellow. You can see that. We'll go down to this image. This is going to be IMG dot size minus. Make sure you make it clickable. Height is fill parent. The width is going to be 25 pixels. 
the picture is going to be the file that I downloaded. The minus button. The next label is LBL line size. Again, I'm going to make the font size 12. I'm going to say line size. The default, the default will be one, and the text color will be yellow. And there we go. For the slider. I'm going to leave it. I could call it SLD line size. But since we only have one slider on here, I'm just going to leave it as slider one. I'm going to make the width fill parent, which means take up the rest of the space. Now you could change this color if you want. You can see the default yellow color. Um, let's say I wanted it to be like cyan. So there you go. Now one thing I want to do change is see how dot size and line size, the labels are up. I want to be centered. Well, that is for your horizontal arrangement. I'm going to select horizontal arrangement, align vertical. I'm going to select top and make it centered. So there we go. Now this is complete. The last thing visually that we see on the screen is this kind of canvas that we want to draw on. Well, this is a new component. And again, you have to find the component in our palette. Well, right here, we see drawing and animation. So we'll click on that. And right here, we have our canvas. I'm gonna drag in our canvas. I'm gonna make our canvas fill parent, which goes all the way across the screen. And I also want it to fill the rest of the height. So I'm gonna go here and select fill parent. And there you go. Now we can see this. Now we can see this matches this. You think we're done. Visually we are, but we always have to add in some non-visual components. So we're gonna to go to media and we are going to add in we are going to add in, as usual, our text to speech. We're also going to add in our background music so we can hear the animals in the background. And that was it, right? I don't remember. And we need a camera. Mm hmm. And something we also need from media is, look at this, this is just an image. This is actually not the camera. What this is gonna do when someone clicks on this image, we want to launch our camera that's already on our phone or our tablet. So here is actually the component we need. So I'm gonna drag this in. So again, make sure without this, your camera will not work. This is just an image. We're gonna click this image and launch our camera. And after our camera takes the picture, then we will put it on the screen. With this, we are done with the design of our animal draw. In the next video, we will go ahead and code this app.